Hello, welcome back to TCG Dreamland. Today we're going texture card hunting. Bada bing, bada boom, two by two and Commander Masters. So, fun fact, I've actually already pulled textured cards from both of these sets. I've, in fact, I've pulled two textured cards from each of these sets. Go look at those on the channel because it's pretty cool. And actually for Double Masters, I pulled both of the textured cards in the same video. I think that actually might be one of the best videos on the channel because it was pretty crazy. It was my last opening for Double Masters 2022. I was doing three boxes in that video and two of the three boxes had textured cards in them. Commander Masters was not nearly that exciting, but I did pull two textured cards from Commander Masters as well. So, good stuff in here. Black Lotus, not Black Lotus, Jeweled Lotus. <laughs> yeah, don't reprint Black Lotus. Everyone's going to hate you for that, Wizards. All right, so let's start with Commander Masters because I remember that set better because it's more recent. I'll try to remember cards that are in Double Masters in a minute. Very cool pack on the interior. All right, so Rapacious Dragon, just four packs in these, so I'm gonna go a little slow. All right, Witch's Cauldron, Commander Sphere, not bad. Battle Screech, Rogue's Passage, Yodora. We've got a Swamp, Old Border. Commander Sphere, Borderless. Kodama's Reach. Got Elvish Mystic, see a ton of those. Nahiri the Lithomancer. We've got Etched Foil, Wake the Dead. Zuladoc, that one's not bad. Zuladoc, Void Gorger, I'll put that one up here actually. Eureka, the Tiger's Shadow. And Deadly Rollick, Borderless Foil Rare. All right. So, Zuladoc starting us off. With Commander Masters. I forgot there was etched foils in these. Some of these etched foils are really expensive. I know there's a Dockside Extortionist etched foil in 2x2. Two two. Carrier Thrall. Gabony Silversmith. Cadaver Imp. Ghostly Flicker. Fencing Ace. Padim. There's our Swamp, so now we're on to the good stuff. Path of Ancestry. We've got Exsanguinate. In borderless Vandal Blast, not bad. In borderless foil, Deadly Rollick. Got Wrath of God in etched foil. Dark Steel Monolith extended, non foil. Tooth and Nail. And Rejuvenating Springs, borderless foil for that pack. So some decent cards, nothing great though. No textured, which is what we're really looking for. Both of the textured I pull from this set were kind of mid-tier. Obviously no Jeweled Lotus textured, that would be amazing. Prismatic Lens, Sky Snare Spider, Eternal Witness, Path to Exile, there's our land. Dark Steel Mutation, Frantic Search, Frantic Search again, but in foil. Bloodspore Thrinax, rare. We've got the Immortal Sun etched foil. It is very hard to see that artwork. That's why I don't really like etched foils. They don't curl, that's why people like them, I guess. Ghoulish Impetus. Ooh, Smothering Tithe. This card, back when Double Masters 2022 came out, this would have been like 40 bucks, but it is now like 10. Blood Chief Ascension. All right, so that was that pack. We got a Smothering Tithe. We are on the last pack now.
All right. Rapacious One, Murmuring Mystic, Crocin Tusker, Ash Barons, Forebear's Blade, Mountain, All That Glitters, Return to Dust, very cool artwork. All right, Counter Spell, Heartless Hidetsugu. Now we're in the good stuff. Azuri's Predation for the Etched. Unfortunate there. Another Zuladoc. This one's in non-foil. That's kind of interesting. Vault of Champions. Borderless. And this is the last card, right? Meheb. The Eternal. All right. So that box was really bad, actually. <laughs> that, was, that was kind of a bad box. Hopefully, our Double Masters will be better. This box has actually been sitting on a shelf for months. I bought this probably almost a year ago. I probably bought it like during the Christmas season when TCG Player has their sales, like their Black Friday sale or something. All right, so Double Masters 2022. Let me make a different bulk pile. All right, Traveler's Amulet. Martial Glory, Stormfleet Pyromancer, Fireblade Artist, Mist Meadow Witch, Washout, Monastery Swift Spear, get one in every pack, Blood Artist, Kasali Pride Mage, one of those in every pack, Second Blood Artist, we got two of those in this pack. Man, there's so many of those. All right, Joda, Archmage Eternal. Bloodforged Battle Axe. Very cool artwork. Got Etched Rurik Thar, the Unbowed. Interesting. Gifts Ungiven. That was our back slot, right? Yikes. Wrecked in the back slot. That is, I think, one of the worst cards you can get in the back slot there. Second pack, Fireblade Artist, Lava Coil, Pirate's Pillage, Thought Scour, pretty cool looking, Strands of Undeath, Orzov Basilica, Vampiric Rites, oh, weird texture on that, Dimir Aqueduct, Eternal Witness, Young Pyromancer, got Simic Growth Chamber, now we're into the good stuff here. Arjun. Well, good in quotes. <laughs> All right. Phyrexian Altar, not bad. It's a non-foil, borderless. We've got Elsha of the Infinite in Etched. Interesting. I don't think I've seen that card. I opened a bunch of these, too. Oh, there we go. Consecrated Sphinx. Not bad at all. So we got two... Good hits in that pack. I mean, none of these cards are going to be even close to what they were when the set came out, but they're still relative to other cards in the set. Those are good hits, you know. All right, let's get into the third pack. Rift Bolt, Annoyed Altisaur, 10th District Legionnaire, Living Lightning. Very cool artwork. Capture Sphere, Wall of Omens, Young Pyromancer in Regular Border, Seeker of the Way, Mentor of the Meek, got Coiling Oracle, Wall of Omens, Green Sun Zenith, not bad, not bad at all, Elenda the Dusk Rose, we've got, oh, I just gave away. The back slot, I think. Mind Rack Liege. Grim Flayer. Another one of the worst cards you can get in the back slot. All right, so coming down, I don't really have anything good to put over here. This is this was a rough opening. These packs are falling apart. I don't remember them being like that. Aether Snipe, very off center. Wow, look at the border on the bottom versus the top. Oh my goodness, is this whole are all these commons gonna be like that? Even initiate hero of the games. There's a alignment dot on that one. 
Wow, I might put these commons to the side. This pack has all kinds of jank. All right, Forbidden Alchemy, League Guild Mage. Now it's better that we're in the uncommons. All right, Biogenic Upgrade, Unearth. Whoops, we've got Rakdos Carnarium, Seeker of the Way, Rakdos Carnarium again. That happens a lot in this set. Phyrexian Altar. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. Put that one up there. Bloom Tender. Borderless. We've got Thraximundar. That card would be super cool if I could see it. I might have to look that card up. That looks metal AF. That might be one of the most metal cards I've seen. <laughs> really cool. Seasoned Pyromancer for our back slots. So, no textured. No textured little bit unfortunate, but if you do want to see some texture pulls, I have pulled textured cards from both of these sets before, both of these sets. So go take a look at those on the channel and make sure to subscribe. I've got good stuff coming. I open every set of Magic the Gathering that comes out, so make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.